Babies vomit in the beginning. That doesn't mean every baby has to be worked up. Some get occasional vomiting. And they don't all have to be treated for reflux. Is that true? The, uh, the normal amount of vomiting in a four to five month old is five times a day. That's normal. That's what human nature, that's what mother nature has so for humans. They don't require extensive workup. I mean, they don't require a lot of medicine. Absolutely the correct. I think, we, correct. I think the pendulum to a treatment, I'm not saying it's 100% true. We may be overtreating a lot of babies, a lot of medicine, but it has to be a good history, a good evaluation, and very good selection. So we talk to the kids who really need the medicine. Is that true? And you have to be able to reassure the family that nothing is wrong. You have to be able to reassure the family that the baby who's very happy, who's spitting up all over the place. And gaining weight. And gaining weight and has no other issues to be concerned about aside from the spitting up, is a happy spitter. And by giving medicine, in fact, you're not making that baby any happier, and you are not making that baby any healthier, and you are not making that baby stop spitting any faster. And people should realize there is a thing called fussy periods where babies do cry, sometimes for an hour or two in the evening, not during the day. That's considered relatively normal. It doesn't always need a lot of medicine to treat that kind of condition. Is that true? That's called colic. And that actually is found in 15% of the infants of the world. Uh, the moms who strap the babies on day two of life and go into the fields in deep East Africa have 15%. The moms who are working as the executives at Wall Street and Madison Avenue, 15%. So it's just part of our species. And in fact, it does bear some resemblance to the irritable bowel because as a consequence of excessive gas, there's distension, and there are receptors, there are signalers on the outside of the intestinal tract, and when they get ex uh, excited, they give the sensation of pain. The difference is that after three years, sorry, excuse me, after three months, there's a maturation process that takes place in the intestinal tract, so that the amount of gas that's uh, generated, the amount of distension that takes place is dramatically decreased. And so that's why colic itself will resolve at the end of the three months. So if you wait long enough, in most of the cases, Mother Nature does a pretty good job and gets better. No doubt about it. And not without a lot of medicine, so. That is absolutely correct. So basic rule, there's no side effect to any drug we don't use. <laughs> that's just basically true.